Hey guys, it's Renee. So this phone case is actually really easy to make. For this, I'm going to be using some basil flowers, you know, from basil herb. They grow flowers on top that you have to cut them. But those flowers look really cute. And I actually made another like DIY showing you how to make snacks with them. This ones we're not gonna eat. We're just going to be cutting a few of them, cleaning them, washing them, drying them, and then just choosing the ones that look the prettiest. I ended up not using many of them, just so you know, you don't need that many. And for this, I think they look cuter with less and then to press them we'll need a heavy book opening this towards the end of the book so most of the weight is like on top then i'm gonna place a napkin my flowers on top and then cover them with another napkin and then close the book for about a month or three weeks while that is being done we have plenty of time for the next step for that i'm going to be using an acetate sheet then my clear phone case that I got online and I'm going to be placing my phone case on top of my acetate sheets but my phone case is going to be like upside down. I'm going to trace the shape of my phone case with my pen, don't forget the camera gap, and then I'm just going to cut that shape. Once I have them done, my flowers are done, I'm going to open them and this is what they look like. I'm going to be arranging a few of them. For this, I'm just going to be using three. If you want to go for more, just use more or just use one, it's pretty much up to you. And I'll glue them using my super glue and i'm using my glue holder that i just showed you how i got this feel free to check that tip out if you use a lot of glue it's pretty handy adding the tiniest bit of glue and then just gluing them on top of like the acetate sheet wait for it to dry then you just place them on your phone case and that's pretty much it guys and i know they sell like really pretty pressed roses or pretty flowers but i just wanted to share with you how to make the whole process by yourself at home and remember, you can use any kind of flowers. You don't have to use basil flowers. I just use them because we have them and they look pretty to me. I'm sorry for the bad quality in some of these clips. It was really tricky actually to show you what it looks like with the phone in there. Because I use my phone to record, but I'm using another phone and the quality is not great. Hopefully, you can kind of see what it looks like. I actually did another how to make pressed roses and how to make a big pressed rose uh, phone case. But I just wanted to share with you with smaller flowers. The phone case... It looks really cute but yeah hopefully you like it and you found this easy to follow and helpful if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up i share a bunch of different things here on my channel so check it out thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye